Hello, welcome back. Um, this time we're going to be talking about variables. Uh, I kind of hinted at them last time with the uh, the types up here, but uh, this this time we're going to talk about variables. Uh, you might notice I, I went ahead and added this line because what we're going to do is we're going to get a number from the user, and then we'll print hello world, and then we'll uh, we'll actually print the number that they put out, um, that, or that they put in, rather, um, below that. So, let's get right into it. Uh, first, whenever you want to use a variable, it first has to be declared. Um, to declare a variable, you put its type followed by its name. So, we'll just call it number. So now we have a variable that's called number that is of the type integer. So if you recall, that means it's a whole number. Um, in this particular case, it can be negative or positive or zero. So now we're going to see how to ask the user for that number. Um, like CN, with, uh, with the IO stream, there is also a there is another object called C, or like C out, there is also C in. Um, now this time we're going to be taking data from C in and putting it into our variable. So instead of the the point um, symbols going that way, we're going to go this way. So now we're going to get the number. So that's going to bring in our keyboard input. We'll say hello world. I'm trying to make this kind of quick because I, I actually think I might do two videos tonight and um, so I don't want too many takes. In other words, I don't want to take too long to do this one and have to do it over again. Um, so, C out. Again, we're going to uh, input into C out a string. The number you entered was and we're actually gonna put quotation marks around it this time, so we have to do the... well, it's a slash, I can't remember the official name of it right now next time, if I remember it by then, I'll tell you but we're gonna put quotation marks around the number because we want them to realize that this is the number, this is it and uh, so after that, we're also going to send into our C out the number. So we just take our, our variable name, type it right on in there, and then after that, we want to put uh, the close of the quotation marks, and then after that, inline. And that's it. So we'll save, leave out. Um, there's a reason that math is wrong. I was trying something without... Uh, don't worry about the other stuff. Just worry about this. So, we're going to bring in a number. We'll bring in two. And there's our number. And I can do it with any number. Um, now, let me show you something that is inherent to the different variable types. Notice how big that number is. Now if I press enter, notice that number is not correct. That's because we actually want, that number is too big to fit into the variable type integer. Now this is where you, you might run into some issues because um, <coughs> x86 has its own standard uh, as to how big variables are, but that doesn't mean that the other standards besides x86, like PPC, PowerPC, which is the uh, the older Mac, um, and uh, it and 64-bit uh, processors, native ones, anyways, um, or native 64-bit code, is going to have the same sizes. So you kind of have to learn. Um, I mean, there are charts out there, you can Google it. Um, but, say we did need to 
to handle numbers that big. Uh, let's go back into the code, and we'll see a different data type. Now, if you recall, if we wanted it to be a decimal, we would put float. Well, if you want a really big decimal or a really big number, you can use a double. Um, so this time, we're just going to bring in a double, save it. All we did was change the data type of that variable, and recompile it and run it again. And we'll try and put in that exact same number. Two, one, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. Now, notice it actually has it, but it kind of cut it off there. Um, in a way. I mean, it has the whole number in its essence, but it cut off the... You see what I'm saying. Anyways, um, there's a way to adjust that. We're not going to get into it right now. It's not necessary really. Just realize it's storing them. Um, so, and again, you can still get too big for that, but generally if you're if you're working with things that are too big uh, too big for that, you're going to be breaking it down into parts anyways. So, just, just realize integer is what you're going to use normally. If it's going to be a really big number, uh, then use double. Um, you can also use long, which is half a double is called double because it's two longs. Um, a long is two integers, basically, the size is. Um, there's also long, long. Um, there are a whole lot of data types. Um, you can Google a, a chart, and I might actually put links, but we'll see. Anyways, this has been uh, variables, a brief introduction. I think next time we'll talk about functions, or macros, or both. Anyways. Have a good one.